right, long overdue. This is an update to the prior video. It's not a finished product yet, but it's pretty darn close. If you looked at the other video, you probably know some of the updates I've done. Exhaust system I had to swap out. Prior one was somebody drilled holes in it, but I found a guy out of Ohio that had that for me. Uh, the rubbers here on the tank came from a guy in the UK somewhere, as did the gauges. And as you can see, they are miles per hour. So they are the US uh, version. They're not metric. The choke in my last video, I had a zip tie sticking out down here. Put in a cable off a 600 Honda. Guess it's already warm. I went with a non-standard paint job. I actually used the color of gray that's on that Nissan Titan, which needed some body work. Redid all the electrical. So anyway, this is the upgraded product. And of course, I had to advertise the fact that it was a Honda. Because everybody follows the leader. They're on a Honda. Or what's the other one? You meet the nicest people on a Honda? Does still need a little bit of work. The swing arm needs to be taken out, repainted. The frame needs touched up. Uh, but for the most part, this is what we ended up with. Runs like a rape tape. Looks good too. So there you have it folks. You can take a piece of junk that's all beat up and banged up and make something decent out of it. Now this is a 1989 Honda CB1 NC27 purchased for my seven-year-old son who is now nine. So this is getting ready to get winterized and put into storage until he turns 16 and is an Eagle Scout.